Aaron, how bittersweet is a day like today where you get all the interaction you do with the Little Leaguers and everything feel good early on, but then one out away and lose the game? Yeah, losing's never fun. Um, so the game was definitely not not a not a good one, but you know everything before getting a chance to see the kids, be a part of that experience, see the excitement in their faces, you know, signing autographs, talking with them. You know, got to ride a bus, 20 minute bus ride with some of the kids, and they're just asking questions about what do you do? You know, they're pointing at your muscles. Like, how do I get big and strong? It's uh, some pretty cool stuff. You know, some memories I won't forget. Um, I just wish the the game turned out a little different. Any harder losing when you're one out? away like that uh, a loss is a loss even if we got blown out tonight you know it's still it's still gonna hurt you know if you had a couple opportunities there to do some do some things but you know, they were able to keep us off balance all night you know with their pitching staff and came up with some clutch hits and you know, it was still a game next question Brian. other than the outcome did the experience live up to what you thought it would be Definitely, you know, I wish we got to spend more time with the kids and hang out with them. You know, we kind of got rushed around a little bit, but, you know, the moments we did get to spend with them and get to talk with them and just really just answer questions, have some fun with them, ask them questions about how they're doing, how are they enjoying this experience out here. That's, that for me was, was definitely the best part. Um, you know, maybe next time we come back, we'll have a little bit more time with them. Okay, JP. You've, you've signed a lot of autographs in your career, Aaron, but it, the, it just something struck me about the walk that you had walking up to Lamedy and the sound of that tunnel of people. What did that feel like to be in the middle of that? Pretty surreal. You know, it's um, they're making you feel like the Beatles out there as you're walking up and down that that tunnel. But it's it was fun. You know, there's a lot of baseball fans. This is, you know, Little League World Series. This is, you know, where a lot of dreams start for some young kids that are you know, hoping to be in the major leagues, hopefully be sitting here at some point. So, you know, just getting a chance to share that moment with them, talk with them, sign a couple autographs. I think we all, I think you'd ask both teams, I think we all enjoyed that experience. Yeah, what's the story of the hat that you're wearing right now in terms of where you got it from, the one you're wearing? Oh, they, a couple of kids, we, we did some trades. So they uh, traded hats, gave them some Yankee hats. They gave me some of their hats. So um, I just got out of the shower, so I needed a hat to wear. And, <laughs> Felt pretty fitting. And along the lines of what I asked Tarek, it, it seemed like as you were jogging off the field in the fourth, you shared a quick moment, maybe a mutual respect with Tarek as you're jogging off. Could you share any of that that conversation there on the field? Man, it's 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 fun competing against him. You know, he's the best best pitcher in the game right now. You know what he's been doing all year long. You know, I feel like the past couple seasons when he came back, you know, last year at the end of the year, you know, really just you know hit a different gear, hit a different level, and it's you know it's. Not fun facing a guy like that, but it's fun competing against the best. We always kind of have a little back and forth. We'll kind of chirp, chirp back, and he strikes me out. We'll kind of give each other a look. You know, if I get a base hit, we'll give each other a look. So, you know, just shared a couple of words kind of going across the diamond right there.